Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and welcome to episode 4 of my Space 1999 Eagle One Transporter build. In the last episode I'd finished making Neil and Bob, so here's a quick recap on what they look like. And I think that should look pretty nice once it's got a lick of paint on and some washes. Now for the fun part, opening up the top of the module. I'm using a rotary tool with a rotating saw blade to cut out the pieces. I found the best way to do this is to hold the tool steady, then run the piece you're cutting under the blade. This allows for a better cut and you have more control over that cut. So, yep, you've guessed, time for the speedy uppy thing. Right, that's all sanded and cleaned up. On the bottom of the module there's some ridges. I don't know whether you can see them, but these need to come off. So what I'm doing here is just marking out where I need to grind down the bits. So let's crack on with that. At this point I decided to take off the whole of these ridges. There's the first module done. I also did a bit of cleaning up with the grinder as there's a hell of a lot of bits and pieces kicking around that need cleaning up. So, on with the next module. There we go, both modules are now prepped. Right, let's have a look at what Neil and Bob look like in their new homes. Look, a sh oops, well you got a glimpse of it, so that's what it's gonna look like. What I'm doing is test fitting the front and back of the module. That's a great lesson to learn here. You could never test dry fit the parts enough times. But I still find I make mistakes, which is frustrating. But let's keep test fitting. Right, I'm happy with that. So now it's on to sorting out the greeblies to go on the side of Dave here. If you're wondering why I'm calling them all Neil, Bob and Dave, it's because I don't know what the parts are called, so it's easy to give them names. The picture here shows what it will hopefully look like once I've finished. I'm not going for exact likeness, 
just an emulation. Initially, I'm using copper sheet to show the panels. It's thinner than using styrene. And it's black because many, many moons ago, I sprayed something in the man cave with aer black aerosol primer and it got everywhere. But I actually made a nice finish on this copper strip. So, let's crack on with the speedy uppy thing. This section is about 45 an hour's work and it's all been reduced down to three minutes. It's this long as I wanted you folks to see as much of the work as possible. Anyway, here's a quick show and tell. Okay, I did it to myself, but at least I've zoomed in for you to have a bit of a gander of it. Now for the greeblies on the sides. What I did for this was I used a single track link from an Italeri 135th Sherman they make great looking monitors with knobs on the side. Here's a picture of one. So let's crack on with the speedy uppy thing.
Here's a quick zoom in to see what it looks like so far. I'm quite chuffed with this. So, that's what we're up to with this build so far. Remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many modelers as possible, like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep modelling.